In this video, we're going to export an illustration from Adobe Illustrator to After Effects ready for animation. Hey guys, my name is Issei and I'm an animator. Today, I'm going to be sharing my workflow on how to get your layers organized and ready for animation in After Effects. I'll cover a few tips and tricks with gradients and masks because those can be a little tricky. But let's keep it fast, easy and simple and get into it. So I have my illustration ready here. This is a character that I'm going to be rigging and animating later on. If you do want to see how I made this, you can check out my previous video. I went from start to finish and covered everything from shade to gradients and color theory and stuff like that. I don't have this organized in any particular way other than the eyes that are grouped together. So the, the white eyelid and the pupils and the highlight. Everything else is pretty much its own shape. The eyebrows um, and the mouth are strokes of different widths and um, these ears for example they're all just one shape with a gradient applied to it if you want to like I said if you want more info to see how I did this check out my previous video. The most important tool that you're going to need is a plugin called Overlord. This is an amazing plugin built by Adam Plouffe. Adam Plouffe? Adam Plouffe? Not sure how to pronounce his last name. There is a one-time fee for the license. However, considering how much time you're going to save and how easy this is going to make your life, um, I highly, 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 highly recommend you get uh, this uh, plugin. This tutorial is pretty much all about how to use this plugin basically. There are tutorials on the website that you, you can go check out. You can also go and check out the about section and learn a bit more about Adam. I think it's amazing what people like this are doing for the motion design industry because this is the tool that everyone pretty much in the industry uses. So big shout out to him. So once you've downloaded it and installed it on your computer, there should be a PDF that shows you pretty easily how to install it. In Illustrator, you can go to Window and Extensions and you should find it here. I like to have it placed in a vertical bar and place it at the very right of my uh, window composition. Have it there ready at all times. So I'm going to show you what I have ticked here. So this first button, when you tick it on, it allows groups that you have to remain as lay um, as grouped layers in After Effects. The second button allows you to keep circles and perfect circles and rectangles as ellipses and um, rectangle shapes instead of converting them to path shapes. This third one aligns the anchor point to the center of your shape. So it's going to pick the center of this shape and this shape and this shape and align uh, the anchor point to the center. And this very last one is to align all of your shapes to the center of the composition. I So as you've noticed, I only tick the very first three. I don't align it to the center. I usually do that myself because sometimes it does move things around. And we will go over some of these uh, tools later on. So what I'm gonna do right now is open up After Effects and create a new file. All right, I have my new project here. I'm just going to check what size this uh, composition is 1080 by 1080 okay so I tend to uh, just keep it the same oops oops what am I doing um frame rate we're gonna keep it at 24 you could change this later it's not super important I'm just gonna set it up so that uh, this file doesn't go crazy and I'm gonna keep the background to white I might change it later uh, we need to name the comp. Let's call it character rig. If your composition has these little checkboard marks, you can switch that off here. Toggle transparency grid. Okay, so I have my composition ready and I do also have Overlord open here down in After Effects. Let's go back to Illustrator. I'm going to select all of the shapes. So actually what I usually do is I just go Command A to select all. So I make sure that I haven't missed anything and we are going to go over and click on the very first arrow button. Are you guys ready? And it does all of the job for us in just a few seconds. 
it's amazing. And I think it actually already, I was gonna do that later, but it exported our guidelines too. So if you hold command semicolon, um, you can access your guidelines. If you do want to move your guidelines later in the future, you can go ahead and click this button and you'll notice they are the same color. They look exactly the same. So if I go ahead and click this, I didn't even need to select the guidelines. It just exports all of your, your guidelines. So I don't want those. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and delete them. So what it's done is Previously, it exported the original guidelines that I had as separate shapes that I just deleted. And now these ones are actual guidelines. So if I hold command semicolon, they will appear and disappear. If you do want to get rid of those, uh, what I do is I go ahead and click command R to bring up the rulers and I just drag them out back into where they should be. So from what I see, I don't think we have any issues with the shapes. It's exported everything pretty much exactly as it was in Illustrator. To the exception of this ear, if you notice, the gradient is a little off. I'm super happy that this happened because I get to show you guys how to fix that. So go back to your Illustrator file. Let's go and double click to go into this shape and I would like to see so I toggle on the gradient tool. You can just hit the G key and I want to see where these points are. I'm going to bring up my rulers and we're actually going to use the guidelines that I just showed you how to transfer. So I'm going to bring up a guideline and hit exactly where that point is. Double click on the ear, bring up the gradient. I bring up my rulers with command R and I'm just going to go ahead and drag out a guideline and hit exactly where you see where that black little point was. That's one point of our gradients. So that's the first point. This is the second point. I'm going to grab out guidelines so that we can map those. Now there's probably other ways to do this. This is just the fastest way uh, that I found to troubleshoot this problem. Because I'm not really sure why this shape didn't work and all the other ones worked. So now that we have these two points, we're going to go ahead and click this button shortcut again and transfer our guidelines to After Effects. Boom! It took just a second. I'm going to select this ear and we're going to go inside and see what's going on with the gradients. So I'm inside my gradient fill layer and you'll see there's a way if you do want to edit your gradient here, you can go ahead and, and modify. But what I want to see, and I'm going to zoom in to see, you should be able to find these little blue two points. And these are the same points uh, that we had in our Illustrator document. So I'm going to click and drag them to where our guidelines are pointing. Um, and I actually did this the wrong way. This is the dark one. So this one should actually go here. And this one should go here. Hide those guidelines. Fit. And let's compare. It looks exactly the same. We fixed it. Yay. Hopefully that was quick. Now the second thing uh, that I'd like to show you guys is how the eyes have been transferred. So if I click on them, you'll see that this is only one layer and I'm just going to name it so that you guys can, can see it better. So if I open it up and go inside, you'll see there are two groups and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see better. Um, so this group, the first one at the top is the black pupil and the, the white highlight and this one is the back eyeball. And the reason why they've been grouped into one layer is because we had them grouped in Illustrator. If you'd like to undo that, say I, I don't want them to be grouped, I'm gonna go to After Effects and I can just go ahead and delete that and I'm gonna ungroup these guys. So now they're ungroup everybody. So now they're all their individual shapes. If I go ahead, select all three and transfer them, boom they have been transferred each as one layer. I'm gonna show you the opposite now because sometimes there's another problem that happens with Overlord is if these were one group. So I selected just this eye, it's just eye group, and I transfer it to After Effects. 
it just exported them as three different layers. But we just said that they're supposed to be exported as one group. So to troubleshoot that, what I found is I usually just select the group and select another object. So hold shift, select another object, transfer that. And now it knows, oh, you meant to say this face is one shape and then this group is a group. So if this happens to you, that is why. Okay, one last little tip or troubleshooting problem thing that can happen is with masks. So I'm gonna want the eye to, to move all the way to the right and all the way to the left. Basically, it's gonna look kind of like eyes gonna go there and it's gonna go there, but I need the white to be a mask so that I don't see the eyeball going outside of the edges. So I am going to group this highlight and this black pupil as one, so Command G. They are now one group and I'm going to select the background white circle. I'm going to duplicate it by copying and then pasting into place. So command C to copy, command shift V to paste in place. So now I have this as a, a duplicate. I'm going to flip fill and stroke so I can see what's inside. And I'm going to select this pupil group and hit command seven to mask it. Another way to do that is if you go and search for mask up here under clipping mask and make, or you'll see the shortcut is command seven. That's where you can find how to make a mask. So now if I go inside, you'll see that that pupil is masked by the white shape. It's perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. So quick recap. Now what we have is this pupil as one group with its mask and then the white uh, circle behind it as a separate shape. So I'm going to go ahead and select those two and to make sure that I've selected them I'm just going to click and drag, hover over that, unselect the face and I'm going to transfer them to After Effects. Okay, let's see. I'm going to name them so I'm not confused. This shape is the eyeball. And then this one is the pupil group. Now what I want to show you is, and what you'll notice, is there is this yellow circle. So it, it should have been perfectly aligned to the white circle. I think I might have moved it around a bit. So I'm just going to loop align it again. Okay. So if I go into pupil group, inside you'll see I have my group with the white highlight and the black shape. And I also have this mask shape, which corresponds to the mask that we created in Illustrator. So now if I were to take this group and move its position, you'll see that the mask has been applied. One last thing I want to show you is, say you've already done some work in After Effects, you don't want to go back to Illustrator and re-import something and start over. So for example, say I want to group these three ribbon shapes. You can't just hit Command G and group these three layers. I'm just gonna flag them another color. Let's just make them red to match. So I know that that's, those are the ribbons. And I'm going to call this layer ribbon. So I know that I want these two other shapes to merge to this ribbon layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those up and bring up the contents. I'm going to name them so I get a little less confused. So ribbon uh, center and this one is ribbon ear and I will open the main ribbon one and then ribbon ear two. So I'm going to go ahead and hit command X to cut it and then hold click on contents and paste it there. I'm going to hit command C and then click on the ribbon and command V it and I'm going to re center it I'm gonna do the same with this ribbon ear paste it align it so it matches exactly and I can go ahead and delete layer three, delete layer four, and organize 
these layers so the ribbon centers at the front. And voila! We now have this as one group. Very, very quickly, um, if you do have swatches imported in here in Illustrator, um, if you want to do that, you can just go ahead and select all of your shapes and hit this folder button here and it will import all of your colors. So I don't need it, I don't need to have it twice. Oops, delete. Um, if you do want to bring those into After Effects and pick colors uh, from your illustration, um, you can go ahead and select that swatch group and then click on this swatches icon and it will import them here in After Effects so that you can go ahead, color pick those if you need. So I can go ahead and be like, oh, I want this color or I want this color. You can go ahead and color pick those. And what Overlord does is it imports them um, as a uh, layer, which you can hide in the future if you don't need to see it. And voila, we have everything in After Effects ready for animation. This character is going to need some rigging, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You should check out the next video that should be uh, coming up soon or if it's already there. Hopefully this was helpful um, for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if this was helpful, if you learned something, or if you just like content like this um, to let me know that I should be making more. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll come, we can go chill out, hang out, get to know each other. And yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Oh, and hey, if you want to see more animation related videos and things, or see me talk about animation, or we can talk about together animation together, hit the, hit the red subscribe button so you'll see more videos in the future and we can be friends. Animation. Da -da -da -da. Are you still here?